a lot of sleepless nights where you're up late, just, you know, checking where the winds were going, what the fire was doing. A nerve-wracking 68 days for residents of El Dorado, Alpine, and Amador counties as flames from the Caldor fire quickly expanded. I remember the morning it started, you know, I woke up and the light in the sky just kind of looked funny, like it looked like it was going to rain or something. And then I walked out my front door and realized it was smoke, not clouds. The Caldor fire scorched through 222,835 acres of land, damaging 81 structures and destroying another 1,005. As devastation spread, Ryan Wright recalls the uncertainty everyone felt at Sierra Vista Vineyards and Winery. You know, you put your whole year's worth of farming into it and then, you know, you get the smoke which could potentially ruin your crops and not necessarily knowing what to do or, you know, also we were evacuated for two weeks. So we had wines fermenting in tank that we had to check on every day and we weren't able to access. Two years later, the property is still standing and it's all thanks to efforts from fire crews. Wright told KCRA that firefighters did some backburning near their property, ultimately stopping the expansion of the flames. We did a Caldor Fire fundraising event um, the end of October that year, and the proceeds, part of the proceeds and all the ticket sales, they went to the fund to rebuild Grizzly Flat, which pretty much got decimated from the fire. While they were still able to have a variety of 2021 wines, it wasn't the only thing they got post Caldor. We got a whole shredder masticator for our skid steer now that we can just essentially cut roads through, clear up all of our underbrush, clean up the forest, um, so that if in the event of another fire, if it did come through, we'd be as best prepared as we could. In Placerville, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.